Hey guys, so this is the uh, Glock 19 with the Nibix uh, finish on it that uh, I was out and I talked to you guys about a little bit on Facebook uh, last week. Had some mal had a lot of malfunctions with it. Sent it back to Amchar, they were really good. Uh, sent it out, got it back uh, really quick. I'm not quite sure what they did to it, but we're gonna shoot it again here today. See uh, see exactly how it turns out, how, how it performs, what uh, differences have been made. And uh, we're gonna go through, we'll be using a variety of magazines factory Glock uh, 17 and 19 magazines. Just put it through a variety of its paces. We'll be shooting some Remington ammo, ammo through it, some Wolf ammo, and uh, whatever else we've got here on hand. Kind of ammo. Uh, this is Remington 115 grain. So Prometheus still having problems with his Nibix Glock 19. I have some of the Federal, I'm sorry, it's Remington, Remington ammunition that he's shooting and a 17 round Glock 17 magazine. I'm gonna put a few rounds through it and see if I have the problems that he's having. No issues for me. Got our classic, classic type three malfunction here. Try and save a few of these rounds here. Keep them all from hitting the uh, keep them all from hitting the deck. It's muddy out today, and I try and like to keep my ammo clean if I can. Time we actually failed to lock open. All right, this time I'm going to try the same test. I have nine rounds of Remington 9mm 115 grain range ammo. This is a brand new Glock 19 magazine, 15 rounds. It's not a you know aftermarket magazine, standard Austrian magazine. That one worked too. All right, gonna try this one more time. Now I have some 115 grain wolf ammunition. This stuff isn't exactly very hot. I'm gonna fire a couple of rounds out of this. And I'm gonna purposely try to limp wrist the handgun. Well, that definitely induces a failure. Well, purposely trying to limp wrist the gun definitely causes problems. I'm gonna try my Glock. I have a fail zero Glock 19 that has no problems with malfunctions. I'm gonna try that and see if I can cause the same malfunctions from limp wristing, which I'm absolutely positive I can. So anyway, this thing seems to be working fairly good for me.
just for the sake of clarity, I'm going to show you that this is the Nibix gun. This is a USA made Glock. And this is my Fail Zero. And this one is an Austrian made Glock. They look identical. You can tell the sights are different. Just so you guys know that I'm actually shooting a different Glock 19 this time. All right, so I got some more Wolf in here. I think I got like 11 rounds in here. Show that the gun works. See if we can get it to limp wrist. Yeah, no difference. Yeah, so that's normal behavior. I can make any Glock fail to feed just by the way I hold it. Nothing new. I was trying to save that round but couldn't. But when I'm firing it normally, it'll work just fine. So, no difference. You can tell the more rounds we put through it, the better it's doing. Um, got another 150 or so rounds through it. Uh, when I spoke with Amchar, he said it might just need a little bit of a breaking period. The coating they put on it does add a minimal amount of thickness to it. It seems to be doing a lot better. Anyway, we'll keep you posted on the updates. Thanks so much for watching. You can find Military Arms Channel at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. You can find my page at www.facebook.com forward slash gun reviews. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned.